Now, it's tax season. That means it's time to get those W-2 and 1099 forms ready. And that means Uncle Sam, eh, he either owes you or you owe him. Either way, you got to figure it out. The IRS officially kicks off tax season today, and we know filing taxes can be very complicated. So we've got a guest who is going to give you some tips on how to make the process easier. Shaquana Brooks, also known as Miss Business, is here with five things that you need to know about the 2021 tax season. Shaquana, thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. It's our pleasure. All right. So the first thing that you recommend is that people file early and accurately. That means getting a head start on it today. Just elaborate on that for, for us, please. So tax season kicks off today and the IRS has already let us know that to expect delays. Reason why they are telling us to expect delays is because they're kicking off this tax season with 10 million backlog tax returns from the 2019 tax year, as well as 2020. So a large reason for that is because of all the stimulus payments and people were filing incorrectly. So there were a lot of manual tax returns that had to be filed on top of all of the tax returns that were mailed in. So my suggestion is to make sure that you file early. Mm, uh, hi, Shaquana. Demi Lobo here. So happy to have you. Uh, so you say mm -hmm. not to sleep on the dependent care credit increase. Can you expand a little bit on that? Yes. So they have expanded the dependent um, the dependent care credit increase from 35% typically to about 50%, which, which can increase your refund from about 4,000 to about 8,000 if you have multiple dependents. And so that's key because everyone, you know, spends money on child care and most people are looking to recoup a lot of that child care. So this tax year and only for the 2021 tax year, that uh, dependent child tax credit is going to make a lot of taxpayers happy. You know, the tax code changed under President Trump. So there are a lot of things that people have to be aware of now. And I think this new feature that people have been getting, the, the child tax credit, it's posing a problem for millions of people. Most of all parents, they got this tax credit throughout the year, but the direct child tax credit, it's only about half of what you're owed. Can you explain that so that people can get all of the money they deserve? Yes. So during the 2021 tax year, I'm um, an advanced child tax credit was provided to parents. Now, what will happen is that they, every, all taxpayers should receive, and this is why it's so important, if you have address changes, to make sure that you're updating it with the IRS. But most taxpayers should have received IRS letter 6419, and that letter just is telling you how much um, tax, advanced child tax credit you have received throughout the 2021 tax year. Now that letter is going to be extremely important because the IRS will check if you, when you file your taxes, you will have to tell the IRS how much money you have received throughout the year. That is the number that is on that paper. You will then in any excess receive that as a part of your refund. So let's say typically if you have a child because um, children between the ages of six and 17, they will receive a child tax credit of $3,000. And if uh, children five and below will receive a child tax credit of $3,600 for the 2021 tax year. If you have a child that is 10 years old and you only receive $1,000 um, in advanced child tax credit payments throughout the year, then when you file your taxes, you are due a $2,000 credit. So that's why it's so important for you to track how much um, you've received and make sure you report it because anything in excess you will receive at, um, on your return as a refund. Wow, so much information and so many to hope you're, when you're watching at home that you have a pen and paper because uh, we want to make sure you get all of this wonderful information. So, Miss Business, your next tip is to claim a recovery rebate credit if you were skipped. So for our viewers who might not know what that means, can you uh, let us know? That is the stimulus payment. So the, that is the stimulus payment that we have been receiving. Um, just to be clear, there were three stimulus payments that taxpayers um, should have received if you qualify. The first two was provided in 2020, and that second payment was received in March, should have received it about March or April of 2021. Now, what happened similar to with the, the advanced child tax credit, if you did not receive your stimulus payment, or if you did not receive the full amount, 
then you can claim it on your taxes and you can receive it as a refund. So make sure that you all know how much was given to you because you are entitled to these funds and you want to make sure that you are receiving your money. All right, Shaquana, your last tip is about the earned uh, income tax credit, which I always see on my tax forms. But what is that and how do people make sure that they're not missing out on it? Yeah, so earned income tax credit, um, taxpayers will receive if their income falls um, within a certain tax bracket. This year and only for 2021, um, what has been put in place is to allow individuals who do not have dependents to actually receive this credit. However, your income um, has to fall the below $21,340 if you are filing single and then $27,380 if you are married filing joint. And so this is a big game changer because typically a lot of times um, earn income credits because of the brackets and, you know, dependents. A lot of people are not able to get that earned income credit, but it looks like a lot of people um, are looking forward to some nice refund checks this year because this credit alone, uh, you can get up to uh, $1,502. So I'm, I'm excited mm -hmm. to see what my clients' refunds look like this year. Oh, man, excited to see what mine are going to look like as well uh, as a result of you helping us out. So we let our soulmates know that you were going to be here last week, and we have some questions from our soulmates uh, that we'd like to get right into. So the first question is uh, Venmo, PayPal. Remember we were talking about it, you being taxed. Is that real, and is the IRS now going to tax your side hustle through transactions made on those mobile apps? Soulmates, it's true. It's true. So let me just break it down. Um, this will not affect um, the individual user of these peer-to-peer um, -peer apps. It, what they are trying to do is get a handle of business transactions. So if you have a business account um, or if you are doing business transactions on these peer-to-peer uh, -peer apps, they will send you what's called a 1099-K form. And a 1099-K form is just detailing and reporting to the IRS how much payments you have received throughout the year. You will then need to uh, take that form and file it on your taxes. So a few things that I want to point out and why this is such a big deal. One, this is effective as of January 1st, 2022. So it is effective. The second thing that I want to discuss is the change and why this is such a big deal is because 1099 case prior to 2022 only needed to be issued if you made um, over $20,000 or 200 transactions. Now that has decreased to $600. And this isn't $600 per transaction. This is a total of $600 that you have received throughout the year. And so a lot of sole proprietors, contractors, freelancers, business owners, um, yeah, they are feeling it because now they know that this income is now being reported to the IRS. And so this is why this is such a huge change because they took it all the way from $20,000 all the way to 